guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's September and it's Burma. worldwide we Filipinos are known for its longest fun amazing indescribable happiest noisiest Christmas celebrations we Filipinos when it's Vermont ding, 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 we always get excited for the Christmas Yuletide season so I have 10 top most common things to know and to expect in Vermont in the Philippines Christmas seasons in the Philippines starts in September. Yes, everywhere Filipinos begin to hear the Christmas songs. And of course, especially songs from Jose Marichans. It is the most played songs of the entire year. And even in the malls, in the shops and the schools we are already hearing all the christmas carols so you feel the spirit of christmas sitigalio or simbangabe known as one of the most common traditions in the Philippines. It is originated in the early Spanish colonial period as a practical compromise for Filipino farmers who began working sunrise to avoid scourging noonday heat in the field and also becomes a symbol of our spiritual devotion. Aside from showing devotion, the Filipinos participate in the nine-day series of masses in hopes of having a granted wish it starts from december 16 to christmas eve and as far as i could remember not that more than five times that i have completed the nine day masses in my entire life but mostly of the philippines believes that if you have completed this nine days straight if you wish it will be granted so all the filipinos still believe these traditions until now merry christmas for christmas decorations lanterns and christmas lights spirit of christmas we filipino begin to decorate our houses with christmas lanterns christmas tree and christmas lights and even in the malls they're all selling all christmas decorations for the preparations of the christmas we joyfully celebrate christmas with songs and praises a group of kids or adults roam around the streets and visiting the houses so they're singing different kinds of songs with different kinds of instruments they use the guitar sometimes they have piano so all of this stuff they are bringing and sing a very nice christmas songs and the homeowner reward them with money so i remember when i lived with my aunt it's actually a village so we are uh, informing all the homeowners that in this schedule we will be visiting their houses at night and do the caroling some of them they allowed and some of them were not because um they're out for the uh, they're out for vacation so but it's okay but we have earned a big amount of money and save and earn that money for our upcoming christmas party so it's uh, one of the memorable experience that i have when i was a kid is doing a caroling since i love um going out with friends and seeing them and um you're meeting new people so it's one of the most memorable memories memorable um experiences that i love and i miss most in my entire life Says it's a Christmas bonnet. This is the most excited one 
to receive a Christmas bonus. So are excited to receive their Christmas bonus and um, I believe not all the companies are providing Christmas bonus to their staff. Some of the employers, they do give rewards to their staff and some are not. It's actually like a plus to all the Filipinos because before even before September they have already plans what are those activities that they will be doing during the Christmas holidays and they have planned to buy gifts and many more so it's a very helpful if the company gives them a Christmas bonus so at least they could adjust and uh, they could adjust all the spending chores during the Christmas. Seven, Christmas shopping. Since even if they don't have money, they shop. Christmas shopping. Well, that's me. I love actually to shop. I love to buy gifts for my relatives and for my family. And um, even in the malls, there's a lot of promos and sales, um, new things displayed. There's a lot of new things. There's a lot of choices. So you can see and you can expect the malls are always crowded during Christmas holidays. So not only in the Philippines, but all over the world. They love shopping. They love Christmas. They always love Christmas. But in the Philippines, we spend our Christmas shopping from September to December and even until January. Number 8. We shop, we give gifts. No houses, no schools, or even office Christmas party is complete without exchanging gifts. In the Philippines, we call that monito and monita. It's actually a adapt an adaptation of a Chris Kringle. Monita and monito is a form of exchanging gifts where participant has his or her unknown giver, or shall we say, um, secret Santa. So the identities of the giver and the receiver will be revealed during the Christmas party. That excites most. I'm Noche Buena. Noche Buena is the highlight of the Yuletide season. It's a grand family dinner or a grand family reunion dinner with feasts full of tasty Filipino foods like lechon, pancit, adobo, sweetened ham, lumpia, and a whole lot more. Nacho Buena has been long a favorite family tradition in the Philippines. take advantage of the long holidays in bear months so this is the time that they spend a lot of money so they tend to go out of town with friends or relatives or go overseas dining meeting old friends reunion in schools there's are there are many activities happening in the long weekends in the philippines in in bear months it is from uh, from the end of October from All Saints Day to December and sometimes it extends to January so it's been very long weekend uh, very long holidays for us so it's very good that we can relax and um, um, make time of ourselves from the stress from work and from tiring boss so it's very nice and cool and really from the word from the words itself sweet life you will really feel the sweetness of life in other countries their yuletide season ends 25th of december or new year's eve but in the philippines we ended our christmas yuletide season after three kings or the feast of the epiphany after that time also, we begin to remove all the decorations, even in the churches.